Kirk, when will we see the rain that's coming? Well, depending on where you're at, some have already seen a few sprinkles and others are still waiting, but it's little doubt that everybody is going to see some rain showers tonight that's going to be almost impossible to avoid. When we take a look at our radar satellite composite, we can see some of those streaks. Now again, just the initial narrow bands that are uh, moving up, they seem to be flaring with slightly more intensity as they're uh, training up into Parkersburg. It won't be long before Parkersburg sees it, maybe Marietta, but Athens has been dodging the bullet. McConnellsville is not under the gun, but at some point we're going to see this large mass sweep into the area. So when we take a look at the Jan Dills Marietta Sky Cam atop the Lafayette Hotel, 78 right now, feels like 79. Relative humidity is 50%. The winds out of the south at 5 and the pressure 29.5. 0.97 inches and falling. Looking at our current temperatures, we're still at 78, 76 at Charleston, 75 for Athens, 69 over in Columbus. The breeze is generally from the south ahead of the front, five to six miles per hour. But as you get behind the first front, it looks like it swings around with more westerly component. And you can see pretty much the drop off in temperature here. Uh, we're about three degrees cooler than we were yesterday. Athens, Lancaster, Zanesville already at least 10 degrees cooler and still dropping. So when you connect the dots, it's pretty clear. Here's the first squall line as it's coming through. That's one cold front. We'll see a second one that's associated with the body of this moisture rolling around the low pressure center that is up uh, north of the Great Lakes. That's going to come through as well. And, and then an additional one that is pinwheeling around behind that that will really drop things off. So uh, as we go through future cast, this line is going to clear pretty much weaken and out of the area by 930. It does look like uh, as we go through the overnight, the showers will back off a bit. Friday, we're looking at some sunshine, clear skies for a good part of the day, but then we may see a few more showers wrap around this vigorous low before we're into the weekend. So right now, it's cloudy with some showers, especially later on, 78. If you're a runner, you may want to get out there right now. The allergy alert says pollen levels in the low category through the rest of this week, and it does look like the humidity forecast suggests we're muggy right now, and we're going to drop below 50 for the dew point as we go through the weekend. The forecast then, in particular, rain overnight, 62 for the overnight low. Tomorrow's high, 73, a rainy Friday, at least front-loaded. The football games may be slightly drier, but it'll be a cold affair. 60% chance of showers, and then our highs are capped in the mid-50s, and the overnights are close to 40 as we go through the weekend. And then a very slow warming trend as we get into the next work week.